today we're going to talk about skin toxicities and the dangers of lotions, creams, and moisturizers. Now, I'm not an expert on skin cream, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut to you right to one of the experts so that you can hear straight from the horse's mouth, as they say, about this important topic. I'm excited to learn as much as you are, so let's check out the video right here. Hey there, welcome back to the Bioptimizer's Healing Health and High Performance Program. I'm your host, Wade T. Lightheart, and today we're going to talk about skin toxicities, the dangers of lotions, potions, all these type of things that we put on side our skin, like moisturizers, all that sort of stuff. And basically, a lot of people ask me, Wade, how do you have good skin? Like, what kind of stuff do you use? What are people using? And, and, and really, it comes down to mostly what I'm not using. And what I mean by that when I say what I'm not using is, is you gotta understand that your skin is the largest organ inside the body. It is what detoxifies the body. Um, anytime you have any chemicals or dirt coming out of the skin or, or like, you know, stuff like that, you get acne and, and goop coming out or you get blemishes and long-term they can have all kinds of problems. So there's a, a big deal when it comes to skin. And so much of the stuff is focusing on the outside of how to treat your skin and not on the inside. So the first level is you gotta understand that anything that you put on your skin, anything, it's like eating it. So if you can't eat that product, if you wouldn't eat that product, then you shouldn't be putting it on your skin because that's going inside your body. So when you look at all these suntan lotions and all these chemicals and the things in your drugstore and all of that stuff, what do you have? You have products that are really and like they're gonna make your insides worse. And when your insides worse, it starts to show in your face, it starts to age and degenerate. Now, if you're following all the Bioptimizer stuff, you're gonna find out that, yeah, guess what? You know, we have a program that builds you from the inside out. We have something that allows you to rebuild it. And to share a story with you, like years ago, you know, after I went through all the toxicity stuff and had a lot of chemicals and all the additives and food and all that, because following the classic bodybuilding program, I discovered something and I discovered that I had to go through a detoxification process and when I went through that, when I first started, I had a huge acne and it was breaking and bleeding and it was, oh, it was just gross. But I stuck with it. I followed the principles. I use acupuncture. Uh, I use Kangen water. I drink a lot of water. Um, I use natural moisturizers, coconut oil to put on the skin. I, I use essential fatty acids, things that's found like in the hemp protein, things like that. Uh, hemp oils. I highly recommend reading um, Dr. Udo Erasmus's Fats That Heal and Fats That Kill. I mean, amazing, amazing book. And probably the good idea just to understand the relationship of essential fatty acids and saturated fat, unsaturated fat, and mostly the chemicals that we're putting on our bodies and how that is negatively impacting us. Again, stay away from those chemical-oriented sunscreens and stay away from the, the agents of coloring and dyes you see at the sun tanning place. Use natural healthy products. Coconut oil is amazing. You can use, when I was competing in contests, I heard about this, so I used almond oil on my skin. It has a nice tightening feel on the body. But more importantly is over the next little while, we're gonna interview some specific experts that's gonna allow you to go into a deeper level of understanding, a deeper level of um, addressing those issues if your skin's not quite the best. But remember, you always gotta get it from the inside out. So when it comes to wrinkles and things like that, that's protein degradation at, the, at that cell level. And it's, you're literally catabolizing. And that's why we're so big on enzymes and probiotics. Also, acne is a lot of has to do with bacteria infections. And I think that washing your face with a lot of soap isn't always the best idea. I use a, a pH 5.5 water that's made in my Kongen machine that I use to, to, to exfoliate the skin naturally. When it comes to my skin, we talk about this in another lesson, I use skin brushing as well. It's another way to kind of remove toxins, open up those pores and let the toxins come out of the system because ultimately, if you're not sweating, if you're not getting stuff out, you know, your body's all plugged up. It's like putting bananas in the exhaust of your car. I mean, it, that wouldn't make any sense. Well, really, your skin has got to breathe. Your skin has got to breathe. <sighs> 
That's what's happening on skin. So you want to expose yourself to light. You want to get into salt water scrubs. That's another great one in there. Uh, you want to avoid the chemical, um, you know, the moisturizers, the things in the drugstore, all that stuff. If it's if it goes on the skin, you should be able to eat it. Put it in your mouth and taste it. If it tastes horrible, it's bad for you. And a lot of people are going to be upset about that or whatever. But you know, that's the facts of life because there are natural organic uh, skin cleansers. There are natural organic moisturizers. There are natural organic, you know, SPF sun blockers. So why not use them? There's some great companies out there. And you know what? The funny enough, the funny enough thing is, is they work better, they feel better, and you're going to look better. And isn't that really what we're trying to do? So bottom line, get the chemicals out of your skin. That's number one. Number two, drink lots of water. You know, get the body hydrated from the inside out. Enzymes and probiotics, regimen your diet. Eat a plant-based protein with lots of essential fatty acids. That's going to get your skin rocking and rolling and glowing like the way that you hope for it. Like kind of those TV commercials without the TV commercial. So I hope that was a quick tip. I know we're going to bring in some more experts on it that know a lot more about this subject than me because I think it's such a big one. The industry is so big. Uh, look forward in the upcoming steps. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I'm Wade T. Lightheart from Bioptimizers, healing health and high performance. We'll see you on the next lesson.